noise and ISO is still really that relevant. Why were there no evidence of noise? No one worries about noise anymore. Hi! Just a few days back, I launched this course in my premium courses. Do you know what premium courses are? Head on to my website. With premium courses, you learn about photography, camera, lighting, settings, commercial photography, editing, videography, and even food and beverages and many more. So in that video lesson, I taught photographers how they could use just a smartphone to create a astounding gallery for their food photography. That's it. When I look at the pictures, I was baffled. Why were there no evidence of noise? I mean, I just used cheap LEDs and a very small sensor from a smartphone. It made me wonder, it made my producer wonder whether noise and ISO is still really that relevant. Because if you look at social media influencers, they just take their cameras and start shooting and no one worries about noise anymore. Let's find out. Hey viewers, before anything else, I'd like to say a big thank you to KMTV for making this learning episode possible. If you're looking to get equipment for your photography and videography work, look no further, check out KMTV's website here. They have an amazing collection of equipment for photography, lighting, videography, amazing equipment. In fact, we have the honor of reviewing two of their best products, this communication headset and also this very powerful LED light. So really, if you're looking to get great equipment, Check out CamTV's website and CamTV. Thank you for making this learning possible. So to do this test, I need a model. And I have a friend called Justina and she was thinking that she wants to give modeling a try. Everybody say hi to Justina. Hi everyone, my name is Justina and I'm an aspiring model. Please be kind to me today. So when Justina told me she wanted to be a model, I thought that why not? She looks a little bit like those models that photographer Chen Man uses. To do the test, I thought the better thing to do would be to test out three types of camera. The Nikon mirrorless and a DSLR and a smartphone. So the first testing location is my studio. I'm going to use one LED light and then cycle through three cameras. The best way to rest your finger on your face is to not push your finger into your cheek but to just lightly touch it. That way, it's going to be more natural. Otherwise, you're going to get that indentation on your cheek. If you want to look natural touching your cheek, the best way to cross this hand under the hand that's going to be touching your cheek. That way, your hand can rest on this hand. And since this is the first shot, I'm not going to comment yet until I see all the camera's photos. And with the smartphone, sadly, I cannot change the ISO. And the ISO is 125. And when we zoom in, it's more of a resolution problem, which is a lack of rather than noise. And with the Nikon Z6 II, I realized that with a higher ISO, which is 16,000, you don't get noise, but it seems that the camera is kind of like denoise and soften the picture. If you look clearly, it looks like the Nikon Z6 II has a similar effect with the smartphone ones. Okay, next location. Somewhere not as bright as the studio. Darker, but not totally dark. So I choose the hallway of our office for it. And when we zoom in with the DSLR, we can clearly see the ISO 8000 is scarily noisy. And the lower ISO of 1600, it's kind of like blurry. There looks a bit of motion blur there even. That was partly because the ISO was lower, we had to use a lower shutter speed. Ooh, both the smartphone performs poorly without added lights, especially the one with the higher ISO. So what I did was I adjusted the ISO in the manual mode. At this point, I would clearly say that the Nikon Z6 II is the clear winner here, even with 16,000 ISO. But the skin turns patchy because of the denoising, I guess. And lastly, the third location, the walkway to our studio storeroom. This is about the darkest that we have in the whole studio. I do not want it to be exactly dark, so that's not a fair comparison. When it comes to a low light, pretty dark condition, most of the time, you're going to get that yellow overcast. This is because the weaker light in the spectrum is always the yellowish light. So the darker the location, most of the time you're going to get yellowish shot on your photo. So I need to adjust the white balance and also the ABGM shift filter. And this way you will counter that yellow cast that you have in your photos in underexposed locations. Surprisingly, looking at the DSLR camera, it doesn't look that noisy in this location. And this is the result of the iPhone shot at ISO 500 the skin and the resolution just look awfully pasty when we zoom in. It looks fake. And looking at the mirrorless Nikon Z6 II, I would say this is the least noisiest of all the three cameras. 
So overall, if you're talking about the DSLR, I can clearly still see noise. The mirrorless denoise it pretty well, but when it comes to the smartphone, you don't see the noise because I think what the camera is trying to do when it detects noise is to apply a filter and then make skin look pasty. So it's more of a resolution issue. Tell me what you think. I'd like to hear your opinion and maybe your knowledge about this issue. We don't see noise, but we see resolution taking a big hit. Thank you for watching this video. If you like what you learned in this video, I'd like to hear what you think about this topic about ISO and noise in the comment section. Let's have a discussion about this topic because your point of view really matters in this channel. And that's it. I strongly suggest that you hit the subscribe button. Look at our channel. Look at the number of videos that we have. But look at the number of subscribers. That's pretty sad. I've been doing this for like close to 10 years. And I wish I have more subscribers. So hit subscribe and hit the bell button too. Okay, that's it. There's nothing to do with this. Just take that one shot. And that video lesson appeared in the foot. <coughs> he had only one job and he sneezed and the camera moved. It's okay, it's all right. I can understand. So with premium closer, <coughs> sorry I farted. How's that? How do you feel now when the host does that? All right? And if you take this and put this into the bed, into the bad take, we, I'm gonna burn your house, okay?